Welcome to Mayo University Hospital. This presentation is for clinicians who have previously used NIMIS at other sites with details specific to the use of NIMIS in Mayo University Hospital. A separate presentation has been sent to all new NIMIS clinicians. It can be resent if you contact the Medical Manpower Office or the PACS Office. Where possible, always use a NIMIS workstation to view images. Do not make a clinical decision on an unreported study viewed on a hospital PC. They are not of clinical review image quality. If, however, a radiologist has already reported on the image, you will be basing your clinical decision on their opinion. You must always select the correct account. Every hospital has emphasised this to the users. Selecting the correct account identifies the location of the patient and the consultant who will receive the report. Incorrect selection poses a significant risk to the patient. If the wrong account is selected, the order will be cancelled. Never choose an outpatient account for an inpatient and never use a GP account. If your team is called to consult on an inpatient from another team, select the admitting account and use the copy to field to enter your consultant's name. In this example, Mary is an inpatient under Professor Barry. Note that the top account is an orthopaedic outpatient account. You need to actively select the inpatient account. Selecting an outpatient account for an inpatient will send your order to the appointments process and will not be dealt with as an inpatient. Do not select a discharged account. Do not simply change the order location section of the order. Selecting the incorrect account or simply changing the order from box will cause delays somewhere in the system. We're going to look at some discharge scenarios. If you discharge a patient with outstanding inpatient requests, those requests will be cancelled unless you have arranged to have them done under this episode of care. For example, the patient will return tomorrow for an ultrasound kidneys or a CTKUB. This must be arranged with the radiology department. If an inpatient is being discharged and requires further examinations, but you are not going to follow them up in the outpatient department, a pop account or ward attender can be created by the ward clerical staff. You can now use this account to request your follow-up examination. An example of this is when you are referring a patient to urology, and you need a follow-up ultrasound of their kidneys in two weeks after they have had some treatment. If the ward clerical staff are not available, contact the radiology department on extension 1332 between 9 and 5. Out of hours, contact the ED reception 2380. If an inpatient requires a follow-up examination followed by an outpatient appointment, please contact the clerical staff on the ward to create the outpatient account or 3525 if a clerical officer is not available. Then use this account for the follow-up examination, for example, chest x-ray in two weeks prior to an outpatient appointment in three weeks. Remember, if the wrong account is selected, the order will be cancelled. For ED patients who require follow-up examinations, you should refer them to the GP to request those follow-up examinations if you are not going to see the patient again. There is a priority selection box on the Add Order screen on the top right hand side of the screen. Do not select anything in the priority section. Leave it blank. For urgent and immediate examinations, you must contact the appropriate area or person within the radiology department to discuss your examination. Express your urgency in the clinical indications field. If your team is called to consult on an inpatient in the care of another team, Select the admitting account and use the copy to field to enter your consultant's name. Cross-modality orders cause multiple problems. Prompt questions differ, order processing differs and patients will not be having all the studies done at the same time. CT, MRI, X-ray, etc. must be requested on separate orders. Note also that cardiac studies are not performed in the radiology department so use separate orders for cardiac and radiology ultrasound exams. You can copy and paste your clinical details from one request to another. For example, if you put chest x-ray and CT brain on the one order and the chest x-ray is performed first, CT will not see the request 
and your exam will be delayed until you phone CT looking for it. Cross modality orders will be cancelled. All CT and MRI studies must be discussed with your consultant before you request them. Be accurate with additional information, for example patient ambulatory status. If you put chair, one porter will arrive to collect the patient but will have to leave if it's a bed. If your patient status changes after you place the request, you should inform the radiographers. Do not simply select bed for everything. This causes a waste of the portering resource. Patient's infection status is entered in the notes section. Accurate information is required for infection control protocols. We avoid cross-contamination of patients in radiology by controlling the workflow through the department. We also organise room cleaning around the infection risk. If you require a follow-up examination for a specific time in the future using the appropriate account, include the details of the clinical indications. For example, for follow-up chest x-ray in two weeks. Prompt questions are there to guide you through giving the required additional information. Inaccurate MRI prompt responses can cause a significant risk to the patient. Note, we do not do MRI scans on patients with pacemakers, regardless of compatibility, and there are no exceptions to this. CT, MRI, X-ray, etc. have different prompts and must be requested on separate orders. Do not simply enter dots or slashes to avoid answering questions. Your request may be rejected if you do this. Also remember cross-modality orders will be cancelled. For CT examinations there is a general rule of thumb. CT exams above the neck are without contrast and those below the neck are with contrast unless the patient's clinical conditions indicates otherwise. Remember to discuss all CT and MRI scans with your consultant. Out of hours you may be called to CT to connect up the contrast pump for contrast examinations. When entering the details on the creatinine prompt, enter the data in the following order. Creatinine level, followed by the date of the exam, followed by the weight of the patient in kilograms. You do not need to insert the units for the creatinine. You do need to put in the date of the test and the weight of the patient. The weight is required for the calculation of the creatinine clearance. Not supplying this information may delay your test. You can put awaiting results of test on this morning or bloods sent. This is a special note for the medical teams who work in the Sacred Heart home. You may use electronic requests for St John's step down unit. They are considered as inpatients in Mayo University Hospital. All other Sacred Heart home referrals must be on paper. You will use the external description to request the upload of external discs. We do not upload images which were performed in other NIMIS sites. These are already available on the NIMIS system. You must supply the examination report when you send the disc to the PACS office for upload. If you obtain the disc from the patient, it should be returned to the patient. If you obtain the disc directly yourself, then this should be shredded. Do not store discs in the patient's notes. Unless told otherwise, the PACS office will shred the disc once uploaded. Enter this information in the clinical indications section. For example, MRI spine from sports clinic. I will collect this disc later today. If you want a pocket guide on uploading external studies, come to the PACS office. Use the IM group for image transfers. IM beam image record transfer, IM CD burn, IM GUH image transfer. In the clinical indications section, please do not enter the patient's clinical information on these requests. Just list the examinations to be copied and dates performed. Identify the other hospital and the clinical team. Urgent cases must be discussed with the PACS office. Phone 1333 or drop in. When we start to process your request, the examination has displayed as stopped. Image management requests are dealt with several times a day. If your request is not urgent, you do not need to contact the PACS office. If you are referring a patient to Galway Group of Hospitals and need their images sent, we can transfer them electronically to the quarantine packs in UHG, where the teams can view them using zero. These images will drop off the quarantine in time, but the team in Galway can request to have them imported to the main packs by placing an order on MediWeb. 
If there has been a recent request to transfer images, look at the clinical indications for that exam to see if your studies have already been sent. When the studies are sent, the exam status is displayed as stopped. To request image copies on disk, use IMCD Burn. This should only be used for onward clinical referral to a non-NIMIS institution. Ensure you are not requesting a disk for transfer to another NIMIS hospital. If the patient is returning home from abroad, include this information on the request. Where there is no onward clinical referral or the patient is not going for a second opinion, the patient may request a copy for themselves through the Freedom of Information office. If you need a disc produced for an outpatient to collect today, inform the PACS office so we can begin the burn process. It may take up to 30 minutes to produce a disc after we are informed. In all circumstances, inform us how the disc is to be collected e.g. the patient will collect when leaving the hospital or give the disc to the patient when today's examination is complete. The team will collect the disc tomorrow. BEAM is a secure system for transferring studies to and from the radiology system in non-NIMIS facilities such as the Galway Clinic and St Vincent's University Hospital. For outgoing transfers we need the name of the receiving clinician and hospital. We frequently request images to be sent to us from University Hospital Galway and the Galway Clinic. You need to confirm the date and location of the source study. The workflow for BEAM is evolving. All requests must be discussed. Phone 1333 or call into the PACS office. If you are referring a patient to the Galway group of hospitals and need their images sent we can transfer them to the quarantine packs in Galway where the teams can view them using AG for Impacts or IE0. Use IMGUH Image Transfer. If there has been a recent request to transfer images, look at the clinical indications for that exam to see if your studies have already been sent. When the studies are sent, the exam is displayed as stopped. These requests are dealt with several times a day and if not urgent, you do not need to contact the PACS office. Here are some notes on spinal studies. Trauma spines must be performed on a spinal board. However, if you accept the clinical responsibility to allow the exam to be performed without the spinal board, for example, the patient walks in having had an injury three weeks ago and you assess that there is no risk to the patient, then you can state in the clinical indications that spinal precautions are not required. If it is not stated in the yellow box, it will not be accepted and you will have to reorder it again. Three foot spine is a standing x-ray of the whole spine for kyphoscoliosis. This is a specialist request. The study is usually only done on a book basis. However, the radiographers will accommodate where possible. Contact 3066 and discuss before sending your patient to the x-ray department. To request multi-spinal regions, select XR spine or CT spine or MRI spine and choose each region required. There are specialist orthopaedic studies for CT leg length and X-ray leg alignment. Leg length is a CT scanogram. The second is a study preferred by Mr O'Grady to look at joint alignment. This is an X-ray performed with a 3 meter distance to the standing patient from the pelvic crest to the feet. Check with Mr O'Grady before ordering this. These studies are usually only done on a booked basis, however the radiographers will accommodate where possible. The combination examination X-ray chest and abdomen is exclusively for paediatrics where the chest and abdomen will be displayed on one image. For guidance, if the child's torso is the size of an A3 sheet of paper, this examination is acceptable. If you need to search for the studies you have requested, go to eChart and search by physician in the middle of the page. Enter your surname, comma, space, first name and then press search. Now change the date on the top right hand side. All the studies you have requested on that specific date are now displayed. The names have been removed for this presentation. The downtime paper request form is only to be used when it has been confirmed that the risk PAX system is down. Let the PAX office know if you need to reset your password. If you are on call tonight, 
you need to check that your Nimbus account is active and make sure that you can access Mayo patients. Do this early in the day and let the PAX office know before 3 o'clock if your account needs attention. Once again, you are very welcome to Mayo University Hospital. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you need any further assistance. My name is Paddy Mallon, the PAX manager. My extension number is 1333. Eilish Mangan is the RIS manager and is on extension 1332.